how to upgrade your hard drive without losing any data on Glion, Mountain Lion, and Mavericks. This will work on any 2.5 inch hard disk. For this installation, we'll be using an SSD. We will need a SATA to USB cable. On most MacBooks, this installation will require a Phillips head and a T6 screwdriver, which can be found in the AppleDollars.com toolkit. Please note that this will work on any MacBook or a MacBook Pro 2008 through 2012 pre-Retina. Go ahead and take out your SSD out of its package. You won't need the SSD tray. Plug your hard drive into the SATA to USB converter cable. You can now go ahead and plug in the cable into the MacBook. The MacBook will instantly recognize the hard drive. Press ignore if this drive has not been formatted. Use the spotlight to locate disk utility and open the program. Once open, go ahead and select your drive. It should show up as a USB. Click Partition. Select per the partition layout. It should be one partition. Click on Options and make sure to select GUID Partition Table. Go ahead and rename the drive to whatever it is that you want your new drive to be. In this case, we'll use Macintosh SSD. Hit Apply and press partition. You can go ahead and close Disk Utility now. Open up Safari and navigate to AppleDollars.com. Once at AppleDollars.com, go ahead and click the download section. Go ahead and find Carbon Copy Cloner CCC 3.5 for OS X Lion and older. Go ahead and click it. It'll automatically download. In the top right, click on your downloads and open up Carbon Copy Cloner. Carbon Copy Cloner is a 30-day free trial software. This will cost you nothing. When prompted, click Extend Trial. Carbon Copy Cloner has already selected Macintosh HD as your source drive. Go ahead and pick the SSD as your destination drive. Click Clone. If you don't have a recovery partition, you'll be prompted. Click Continue Anyway. You'll be prompted for your user password. Go ahead and put that in. You can always create the recovery partition later. This will go on for a good 15 minutes to 2 hours depending on how much data you have. Go ahead and close Carbon Copy Cloner now. Go to Go and Computer. You can now select your new SSD and eject it. You can go ahead and unplug your SSD as well. Your entire computer is now on this disk. Here's the best part. Open up Safari and go to AppleDollars.com. Once at AppleDollars.com, click your Apple logo, go to About This Mac, click More Info, Locate your model year and screen size. Once you've located your model year and screen size, go ahead and select MacBooks. Select your screen size. For us, it's 15 inch. Now select your year. This is a 2010 model, so we'll select 2010. This is an interactive video map of every part in this MacBook. Go ahead and select the hard drive and watch the video on how to remove 
the old hard drive and install the new hard drive. AppleDollars.com has videos for every single MacBook. Once you watch the video and you know exactly how to replace your hard drive, go ahead and close all the windows and shut down your MacBook. Okay, let's install the drive. Go ahead and flip your MacBook over. Remove all the screws from the panel. Move the panel out of the way. If you run into trouble, AppleDollars.com is mobile friendly so you can log on to it with your phone. Select your screen size and your year and watch the video through your smartphone. Okay, let's remove the old drive and transfer the screws. Put them onto the new drive, load it into the bay, secure it, and put back the panel. There's a final step. We're going to need to perform an NVRAM reset. Simultaneously hold Command Option P and R after pressing the power button. This will dramatically improve boot up time. We'll be holding four of these buttons down at once. Locate the Command and Option P and R keys. Press the power button one time, then immediately hit the four keys before the screen turns gray. Keep holding this down until the screen turns black again, then you can let go. You've just performed an NVRAM reset. Now the computer can recognize the hard drive right away. Go ahead and log into your account. Go over to the Apple logo. Click about this Mac. Press more info and click storage. You should now see your new hard drive installed and displayed in the storage menu. This concludes this upgrade. Thank you for watching.